Nautical charts are your gateway to safe and successful navigation. In this video, we're exploring everything you need to know about nautical charts, what they are, how to use them, and why they are so essential for every mariner. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of this critical navigational tool. Let's get started. What is a nautical chart? A nautical chart is more than just a map, it's a navigator's best friend. Designed specifically for use at sea, it provides critical information like water depths, hazards and navigational aids, such as lighthouses and buoys. Nautical charts have three main purposes. First, they are a source of information, giving you the data you need to understand your surroundings. Second, they are a tool for calculations, helping you plot routes, measure distances and estimate travel times. Finally, they act as a record of navigation where you can document important events or updates during your voyage. Nautical charts come in different scales. Large-scale charts provide detailed information for smaller areas like harbours and narrow channels. Medium-scale charts are used for coastal navigation, while small-scale charts are ideal for planning long voyages and navigating offshore. Types of nautical charts There are two main types of nautical charts. Paper charts and electronic charts. Paper charts have been the cornerstone of navigation for centuries. They are reliable and don't depend on technology, but they require manual updates to stay current. Electronic charts are the modern standard and are available in two formats, raster and vector. Raster charts are digital scans of paper charts. They're simple to use but lack interactivity. Vector charts, on the other hand, are layered with data, allowing for features like route planning, hazard alerts and real-time updates when paired with GPS. While electronic charts are incredibly convenient, always carry a paper backup in case of a technology failure. Chart projections Creating a flat chart from the Earth's curved surface is no small feat. This is achieved through projections. The Mercator projection is the most common. It preserves direction, making it ideal for plotting courses with rum lines. However, it distorts distances near the poles. The Gnomonic projection is used for plotting great circle routes, the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. It's perfect for long voyages, but distorts shapes and distances away from its central point. Finally, the Universal Polar Stereographic Projection, or UPS, is specifically used for polar regions. It minimizes distortion in high latitude areas, making it essential for Arctic and Antarctic navigation. Navigational lines. When navigating, two key types of lines are commonly used rum lines and great circles. A rum line maintains a constant compass bearing. It appears as a straight line on Mercator charts, making it easy to plot shorter courses. A great circle is the shortest route between two points on a sphere. While it appears curved on a Mercator chart, it saves time and fuel over long distances, making it the preferred choice for trans-oceanic voyages. Updating charts. Keeping charts up to date is vital for safe navigation. The sea is constantly changing. Sandbanks shift, wrecks appear, and buoys get relocated. Updates are issued through notices to mariners, which are weekly bulletins from hydrographic offices. These notices provide instructions for inserting, deleting or amending details on your chart. For significant updates, such as the construction of a new marina, block corrections are issued. These are patches you can print and apply to your chart. Temporary and preliminary notices cover short-term changes, such as exclusion zones for events or temporary hazards. Regular updates ensure that your charts remain accurate and reliable. Additional tools for navigators. In addition to charts, mariners rely on several supplementary tools. Tide tables predict the rise and fall of tides, helping you plan safe departures and arrivals. Tidal stream atlases show the direction and strength of tidal currents. Lists of lights provide detailed information about lighthouses and other navigational aids. 
Radio signal lists include frequencies and details for communication stations. Yachtsman's almanacs are condensed guides for small craft navigation, offering data like sunrise and sunset times and harbour facilities. Pilots and sailing directions give detailed descriptions of coastal features, harbour approaches and potential hazards. Together, these tools complement nautical charts, giving you a comprehensive understanding of the marine environment. Advantages and Limitations of Electronic Charts Electronic charts offer several advantages. They provide real-time positioning when linked with GPS and allow for interactive features like route planning and hazard alerts. However, they have limitations. Raster charts are static and cannot be simplified for specific needs. Vector charts rely on reliable hardware and software, which can fail or malfunction. Always carry paper charts as a backup and ensure they're up to date. Let's recap everything we've covered. First, we learned what a nautical chart is. It's more than just a map. It's a vital navigational tool acting as a source of information, a planning aid and a record of your voyage. Charts come in different scales, each suited to a specific type of navigation, from harbours to the open sea. Next, we explored the types of charts. Paper charts are reliable and time-tested, while electronic charts offer interactivity and real-time updates. Both have their place, but electronic charts paired with GPS provide a modern edge. Just remember to keep a paper backup handy. We then discussed chart projections, from the Mercator projection, perfect for rum lines, to the mnemonic projection, ideal for plotting great circles. Each projection serves a specific purpose in navigation. Understanding these differences is key to choosing the right chart for your needs. After that, we dove into navigational lines. Rum lines maintain constant compass bearings for straightforward routes, while great circles provide the shortest distance between two points, saving time and fuel over long journeys. We also talked about keeping charts up to date. Changes in the marine environment happen constantly, and tools like notices to mariners, block corrections and temporary notices ensure your charts are accurate and reliable. We explored supplementary tools that enhance navigation like tide tables, tidal stream atlases and lists of lights. These resources, combined with your charts, give you a comprehensive understanding of the marine environment. Finally, we discussed the advantages and limitations of electronic charts. They're powerful tools for modern navigation but rely on technology. A backup paper chart is your safety net when systems fail. Nautical charts, whether paper or electronic, are the cornerstone of safe navigation. Keeping them updated and knowing how to use them effectively is essential for every mariner. Safe sailing and we'll see you in the next video. If you liked this video, make sure to click subscribe and check out the other videos in the series for a complete understanding of navigating the seas.